guys and very welcome to my YouTube channel Bookers. I'm really happy to creating podcasts for you. This is Amen and let's go for new book of bookers. The name of it is Spirited Away by Hayao Miyazaki. Spirited Away, a famous book, a famous animation which created several years ago and this is one of the most famous animations of the world. Now let's go for the first part of Spirited Away. The Mysterious Country. Chiro, Chiro, we are almost there, Chiro's father shouted from the driver's seat. Today, the Ogeons were moving to their new ho- house. Chiro was sulking in the back seat of their car. She clutched her friend's going away presents, a bouquet of flowers. This really is in the middle of nowhere, her mother said. Chiro's father replied, We'll just have to learn to like, like it. Look, Chiro, there is your new school. It doesn't look so bad, her mother said. But Chiro glanced gloomily out the window and muttered, It's gonna stink. I liked my old school. The car climbed up the hill towards the house. Everything about the move, including the new town and the new school, bothered Chiro. They drove down a narrow road leading into a forest. Father had taken a right turn. Father refused to turn back. This road should get us there, he insisted and drove into the forest. The forest grew thick and dark. They passed a statue covered with moss that scared Chiro. It looked like an entrance. Her father slammed on the brakes in front of a red gate, but the gate was too small for the car. The wind whistled beyond the tunnel. Leaves loosened at Chiro's feet and drifted into the tunnel. The winds pulling us in. Chiro looked into the tunnel and terrified. Father said, come on, let's go in. I want to see what's on the other side. I'm not going. It gives me the creeps, Dad. Don't be like a scaredy cat, Chiro. Let's just take a look. I'm not going. But father and mother kept going into the tunnel. Left alone, Chiro chased after them. Wait for me. She could only hear their footsteps joining in the tunnel. They came out onto a strange wide open field. A red clock to a tower loomed under the blue sky. There was an abandoned house and old statues. Now let's go back, Chiro begged her parents, but they kept going forward. They crossed the field and reached a dry riverbed. Suddenly, a delicious odor drifted by them. Her parents climbed the stone stairs and followed the smell. It was a strange street lined with restaurants. On the counter of one of these restaurants were delicious, smelling, freshly prepared meals. Hello in there. Does anybody work here? Father shouted, but there was no answer. Mother then said, don't worry honey, we can pay the bill when they get back. Good idea. Chiro's parents sat down and began eating the food on the counter. Let's just get out of here, Chiro said. But her parents were too preoccupied with eating. Chiro gave up and left the restaurant. She looked round, the street was quiet. In the distance, there was a red lantern at the top of the stone stairs. She climbed the stairs and stood still when she reached the top. A giant building towered over the crimson red bridge. Shiro looked up at the quad building in the afternoon sun. That's weird. It had a sign that read Abu Raya. It had a tall chimney too. Could it be a bathhouse then? She heard a train roaring under the bridge. 
she leaned over the rail. There wasn't any water under Neff, just a railroad. The rain ran along the bottom of a dark valley. It was when Shiro noticed the boy standing next to her. He was staring at her. Then, as he suddenly realized something, he glared at her and said, You shouldn't be here. Get out of here now. What? It's almost night. Leave before it gets dark. It was getting dark all of a sudden, and the building's lamps began to glow. They are lighting the lamps. Get out of here. You have got to get across the river. Go. Confused, she rose there to run. But the time she reached the stairs through, it was dark. Chiro was frightened. She ran into the restaurant to find her parents. Mom, Dad, let's get out of here. She grabbed her father who slowly turned around. They weren't her parents. They were two pigs. Oh, Chiro ran down the street. Dark shadows drifted by. Dad, Mom, Chiro hurried back. The way they would come. But look what we found. The field they had crossed had turned into a river. She saw the clock tower far away on the other side of the wide river. A glowing fairy floated on the dark water and approached the shore. I am dreaming. Come on, wake up, wake up. She kneeled down and buried her face in her hands. She looked at her hands and screamed. AMC through, it's just a bad dream. Then she could hear loud music. The passengers of the ferry had arrived. Ah, oh, Chiro screamed and ran away. The end of Spirited Away, Chapter 1. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And goodbye until tomorrow. Thank you so much.